A hundred years ago, at 5 a.m., the German government uh, representatives agreed to the armistice, which would see their forces withdraw and surrender at 11 a.m. on the 11th of November 1918. And so we do pause on the 11th of the 11th, uh, when silence fell on the Western Front for the first time in four years. And it is important that we pause and remember these men and these sacrifices. We pause to offer our thanks and acknowledge their sacrifice. We acknowledge the impact that it had on their families waiting at home for news of their loved ones. We also remember these men and women that have served our country since in times of war, conflict and as peacekeepers, as well as those currently serving overseas. The Lone Pine was a solitary tree on the Glippi Peninsula in Turkey, which marked the site of the Battle of Lone Pine in 1915. It was the sole survivor of a group of trees cut down by Turkish soldiers who used the branches to cover their trenches. At 4.30 a.m. on October 6, 1915, an officer blew his whistle and the Australians charged from their trenches into a cloud of shrapnel and a torrent of bullets. Some fell before they cleared their parapets, others within a few strides. Lone Pine was captured and reinforced, however the area of losses were extremely high. Of the nine Victoria Crosses awarded to the Australians at Gallipoli, Seven of them were won at Lone Pine. This pine is a seedling related to the original Lone Pine at Gallipoli and a plant to commemorate the brave, courageous deeds and sacrifices of the Anzacs. Thank you. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row. Let mark our place. Alongside this worldwide tragedy was a profound and eternal loss, private, solitary, but universal, where the emotional and practical response carried a different burden, the burden of grief upon each home which received a notification of death. An initial goodbye made with sadness but hope was shattered when the news of death was delivered to the door. We regret to inform you. Be it a letter, a telegram, or a list within the community, this piece of paper was for many the final moment that was to be shared. What you see today is the culmination of many years' work, work started by Martin Forsyth, Kevin Bartlett, and Colin Newman more than five years ago. Their foresight, dedication, and efforts were responsible for the construction of these crosses. And with the help of numerous volunteers, each one was hand-painted in preparation for this commemoration. Each of the 2,100 crosses placed by members of our school community represents approximately 30 Australians killed in World War I. Every one of these crosses is a repository of love and an ennobled memory. Every Australian should ask themselves, do I continue to be worthy of these sacrifices? Not just those who fell in World War I, but the sacrifice of more than 100,000 Australians who have died in conflicts from the Boer War to the ongoing conflict in Afghanistan, defending our country and our way of life. It is essential that we take time to pause and reflect on those people as focusing on history together with current events creates a lens through which we can process what is going on around us, both locally and globally. This is why the past, rather than distracting us from the present, gives us a means through which to both understand what is happening in our world today and to actively affect it lest we forget. Our classes have been looking at eight values that embody the Anzac spirit that are connected to the people who have or are still serving in war-torn areas around the world. Our value is... Toughness. Toughness is strength, grit and bravery. Hewlett 1 and 2's value is compassion. Compassion is sympathy, caring and understanding. Kuru's value was resilience. Resilience is the ability to recover. Our value is teamwork. Teamwork means working together. Our value is courage. Courage is the resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not to absence of fear. Our value is duty. 
Duty is devotion to our country, our mates and our family. Our value is integrity. Integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. Our value is mateship. Mateship is walking with a friend through the dark as well as the light. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end, against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemned. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Today is a really important day for many people and it is really important that we commemorate this, um, the people who fought in the war and if they wouldn't have sacrificed their lives, we wouldn't be like in this position that we are in, are in now. And I think that Remembrance Day is really important because it kind of shows exactly how we should be going as a nation and showing how we should be progressing, um, as well as remembering the people that have progressed with us. This day sort of holds like a special memory in my heart. Um, I want to live on the legacy of what my family has done on Remembrance Day to um, remember the fallen soldiers and all of that. I felt like being a part of this day really felt a part of their um, legacy. Uh, we should keep the tradition going of Remembrance Day celebrations because we need to acknowledge the fact that they helped us live our lives, basically. Today's important because it's a good opportunity to remember um, why we have the freedoms that we do today in Australia and why we need to keep them in, the, in our lives. It's good to be able to help out in remembering the people who did fight for us. Mum and Dad and Danny saw the passing girl parade up like a panel. It was a long march from cadets. And the 6th Battalion was next to tour and it was me who drew the card. We didn't Kanunga show water before we left. And down to line the footpath as we marched down to the quay. This clipping from the paper shows us young and strong and clean. And there's me in me slouch hat. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of everyone today, the engagement of uh, the students, um, all the staff and members of the community has been um, enormous. We've planted a seedling from the Lone Pine, uh, we've had live performances where students uh, have demonstrated uh, their understanding of the values. Um, a range of values, uh, we've had an art gallery, all sorts of wonderful things that really show the depth of understanding um, of our students. The cross ceremony was, uh, was really special. All 2,000 students and staff came together, planted an individual cross that formed one large cross and it was just an amazing experience. So uh, I want to again thank all of those who contributed to the success of the program.
Jesus.